Hi, my name is Isabel, and I run the channel for Acorn Art Class. And I want to use this paint with me video to kind of for you guys to get to know me better. Uh, the other videos are a lot more structured, more informational. So I thought it would be better to get to know me a lot more on a personal level if we can get a little personal. Well, first the painting that I'm working on is a portrait of this reference photo and I mixed up some paint already. Now, this is not a tutorial. I will definitely be making tutorials in the future for realistic skin tones, portraits, and uh, I am using oil paint, by the way. I mostly work in oil. So I will do tutorials and more in-depth of the explanations, but for now, we're just gonna watch and listen to my life story, <laughs> or just some stuff about me. Um, I guess the big thing is that I'm from South Korea originally. A lot of people would not guess that regarding my lack of accent, but um, it's kind of with the fact that I just studied English very hard, but also I went to international school. Uh, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> so anyways, I moved to LA, Los Angeles, city of angels, <laughs> about, about six years ago now. And I've been living here and I do a lot of stuff. I do photography mainly, video editing, which just explains a lot of the YouTube. And because I edit all my videos by myself and I produce and um, film everything on my own, so that helps a lot that I worked in film and editing. And I also do a lot of other mediums in art. And, um, but right now, mostly I work in oils because I fell in love with oils. <laughs> Oil painting's just amazing. If anyone is, I mean, I started in acrylics actually because I was very intimidated by oils. But if anyone's scared to start oils, I would just say, just do it. Just go for it. It's I did my instructor at my recent uh, oil painting class uh, it, it advised me, Allison, she's amazing. She advised me to just take the plunge and I did and I never looked back. It's been like two months. <laughs> uh, I guess not regarding art, more personal stuff is um, my favorite color is sap green and yellow. <laughs> I do like hedgehogs a lot. My favorite animals are hedgehogs. I have a very strange obsession with Kermit the Frog. Not in like a weird way, <laughs> but like I really, really like Kermit. I kind of um, save all of his memes, all of his reaction pics. Um, and I have a Kermit, Kermit the Dog. Kermit the Dog? What? <laughs> I have the Kermit the Frog, like a plushie that's posable, and he sits in the kitchen, so I do like Kermit a lot. Um, wow, this I just sound really weird already. <laughs> I think a really easy way to describe myself is that I really love learning. I love learning anything, learning stuff about, um, of course, topics regarding art, and also another fascination of mine is language, which also kind of explains my English speaking mode, <laughs> but I really love learning language. I speak Korean all because I'm obviously from Korea I speak English and I'm learning Japanese right now I am I'm an intermediate level or just about to be intermediate and my goal is to be a polygot Meaning I want to speak at least six languages. The next two languages that I'm contemplating between is uh, our um Spanish and French. I mean, I'm, eventually I'm gonna get both down, but I think I might start with Spanish because I am in California, West Side. <laughs> you can't see me because it's the voiceover, but I'm doing the the W hand sign with the you know the West Side hand sign that all the cool people do. You know, I'm, I I do it really well. I know you can't see me, but you can just take my word and trust and believe that I'm doing that West Side's hand signal perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> well, with the painting, I'm also, I'm not doing a very, like, hyper-realistic version of it. <laughs> I don't know if it would sound like an excuse or not, but, like, um, I did a sketch freehand. So, I, because I, I was okay with making this portrait a little stylized and not as 100% accurate to the reference photo. As, like I said, it's a reference photo for me. Um, if, if I were to, or if someone were to do a hyper-realistic, I would think that gridding the photo is a lot better approach. But yeah, I'm just, um, you know, freehand in it. But uh, I always sketch this, uh, any kind of portrait work with uh, with this orange, I think it's burnt, I should know, burnt crimson? No, it's just some kind of orange um, color pencil. But I always like to use orange because if it, if it does speak seep through the painting, um, 
I like. I actually kind of like the look of that orange kind of seeping through the painting because it feels, once again, stylized, but also like a like a hint of warmth and a little bit of energy, energy popping through right to you. <laughs> so I do like that. Um, I do really, really liked, I liked watercolor for a long time, but oils is just my thing right now. But I guess regarding channel... This channel, once again, I mentioned in my intro video, if you didn't watch the intro video to the channel trailer, I really recommend you to watch it because I kind of um, mentioned why I started the channel. But basically, I wanted to provide a channel and of just information or a place you can come to for regarding art where it's not just about technique or just about um, create. Not, not, that one, not that one's bad or the other's bad. They're both so important. It's just why I want to make a place where you balance both. Because the reason why I came to this conclusion is because when I mentioned in the video that I two years of fundamental like technique studies burnt me out dry, what I meant is when I was in South Korea, I was in an academy, not a school, but an academy setting where I did learn the techniques and how to draw something the way it looks and how to make it look realistic. And uh, I did that for two and a half years while I was in high school and middle school, and that 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 killed me. Like I hated it. I it was it was well South Korean's education system is a whole nother topic, but I basically after school like four times a week from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. would be at that art academy and just look at a subject and draw it exactly how it looked like or just do different versions of it, and everything was just about technique. And that really made me hate art at one point. And after that, those that experience with that class, um, I did not pick up a pencil, did not pick, I did not paint or pick up a pencil or draw for that matter for the next two years because I just couldn't. I was done with it. I didn't. It wasn't fun. I didn't want to. I just always thought that I was too bad at it because this other like because you could definitely grade it if it's if the um, measure of success is how accurate it looks. Whoever drew the most accurate drawing is better at art, but I don't see it that way. At least for myself, I think there should be a balance between how well you could po you portray your idea with the subject matter and how it looks like what you want it to look, but also the creativity. So I really didn't like that experience. But uh, that's just I don't want to make it sound like I'm bashing them but I think the whole fundamental structure was flawed in the sense that there needs to be a balance technique is so important it is but there needs to be a room for improving and growing your creative mind and how to express that which is what I want to provide and also I think it can swing the other way to an extreme where if you just think about so abstract and so just with how you explain or how you see it, that is still art. I still consider that art. Like very, very abstract work or even performance related abstract work. I still consider that art, but I think there should be a level of balance that or I'll, that's how I see it. And I just do believe that a lot of other people would see it that way if they just knew that that was an option. Because for me, when I was in that whole technique driven focus st studying, I didn't even know that was an option. So I just want to provide um, kind of a more neutral, neutral, not neutral, a neutral stance, a more moderate stance where it's not, doesn't have to be so extreme in one way or the other and want to provide my perspective on how I see and could approach art. And I'm not, never going to say that my way is the right way. I would never say that, but I would just want to provide another option for you as a viewer to have another option to choose from or to collect as a data point to um, construct your own way of how you see art. So that's what I want to do here. So through that, I'm going to make tutorials um, and some kind of more f fundamental studies, more abstract studies, and it's going to be fun, guys. I, I am excited. Like I mentioned, I love learning, but I never really realized that I loved sharing learning, which I guess is teaching. <laughs> is that how words work? <laughs> Yeah, I love, I guess I do love teaching because I, I love sharing my, like, what I know. And I just, I guess that's what this channel is going to be. And it is. And I'm going to just show some silly stuff along the way so it doesn't have to be so serious all the time. But yeah, I think the portrait's about to be finished by the time that this recording is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this first paint with me video. There's going to be a lot more paint with me, sketch with me. So make sure to subscribe. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. I also have an Instagram. You can follow the it's the um, handles in the description down below, but it's at Isabel Lee Art. If you 
you want to see more of my regular work, that's where it's going to be posted. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time and have a great, lovely day. Bye.